This is 7 National News. Here are the headlines. President of the UAE briefed by Abu Dhabi Crown Prince on national affairs. World Health Organization approves new diabetes diagnosis test. And Indian government expected to set minimum wages. And in our top story, President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan was briefed by General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces regarding his tour of the Northern Emirates on Friday. Upon Sheikh Khalifa's instructions, Sheikh Mohammed inquired about UAE nationals' needs as a top priority in the country and to make sure that the service for the people are extended by different government departments, including basic infrastructure projects. During the meeting, Sheikh Khalifa emphasized the importance of continuous meetings and detailed follow-up of this successful tour to find out more about fulfilling the needs and aspirations of the people. Her Excellency Sheikha Lubna Al Qasimi, UAE Minister of Foreign Trade, led engineering industry experts in encouraging young women to enter technical fields with enhanced access to educational and employment opportunities, as well as support from the government and professional societies. They say this is the time for women to realize their potential in making a difference in male dominated industries. Khadija Sali has this report. Most of these young female Emiratis present at the Women in Engineering, Science and Technology Forum will one day become the UAE's engineers. Hayam al-Blushi and Hiba al-Blushi are just two of these aspiring women who believe they have what it takes to make a difference in a male-dominated industry. I chose mechanical engineering to study basically mechanical engineering because of... I think the influence from my family. My brother graduated from the Petroleum Institute as a mechanical engineer and my uncle also. I have like a lot of family members, basically they are engineers. I chose electrical engineer because it's um, uh, wanted nowadays in all the sectors and all, uh, all the companies. Uh, Everywhere they are using electrical, so everywhere they are in need to electrical engineer. Um, my family, they gave me all the support to become an engineer and to choose this uh, major. Um, well, uh, where my father is an engineer, my two brothers also, and they gave me all the support. However, not everyone is fortunate to have this kind of support. In fact, industry experts say among the challenges young women face at present is the mindset of the society and their own families when it comes to them pursuing a career, particularly in technical fields. We need to first uh, make sure that awareness is there for the males to believe in the women, in their wives, in their uh, daughters and their mothers and their sisters to believe in them, to believe that they can achieve. And, and I could say they're very enthusiastic, these women, but they don't get the chance. So if you, put the, if you actually put the awareness in the society that men should give them the chance and also tell the women that you have the capability, just believe in yourself. Officials added that this forum under the banner of a better planet provides women the much-needed support. It is in line with the Women in Engineering's mission to inspire, engage, encourage and empower women worldwide. All what you are discussing here is mainly into technology, the future technology, but at the same time we are looking at sustainable and ubiquitous. That means it should, it should cover everything. Her Excellency Sheikha Lubna Al Qasimi, UAE Minister of Foreign Trade, led the speakers at the forum in encouraging women to dream, dare, and achieve. At the same time, they say the youth must learn to strike a balance in their personal and professional lives. And while it may be tempting to aim straight for top positions in a company and pursue higher degrees at universities, experts reminded everyone to be patient. They say for one to be truly successful, one must learn by experience and grow slowly but surely to have a solid background and a bright future ahead. Khadija Sali, 7 National News. The World Health Organization has approved a new diabetes diagnosis test, an accurate blood test that depends on identifying HbA1c to determine the blood sugar average during the two or three months preceding the test. 
According to Dr. Mahmoud Fikri, Assistant Undersecretary for Health Policies at the Ministry of Health, the test is a positive step forward in the diagnosis and treatment of diabetes. Additionally noting that it uses one blood specimen, the UAE has the second highest prevalence of diabetes in the world behind the Pacific Island nation of Nauru, with almost a fifth of the population affected. Also in the top 10 are Oman, Bahrain, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. The Sharjah police are investigating the death of a 35-year-old Bangladeshi worker whose body was found in a room in the industrial area 1 behind Sharjah city centre. According to a local paper, a police source said the body was found in a pool of blood three days ago with several stab wounds. When notified, the police rushed to the scene and lifted fingerprints and gathered other evidence. The body was sent to the forensic laboratory for autopsy. Sharjah police have taken many people into custody for questioning, including those who called him on his mobile phone before his death. A gang of robbers yesterday morning drove their vehicle into a warehouse containing electric appliances and fled with goods worth up to 250,000 dirham. According to a local newspaper, an official at Sharjah Police said the officers from the Criminal Investigation Department arrived at the scene at 8 a.m. and were continuing their search for the robbers. The owner of the warehouse, located in Industrial Area 15, explained that the incident took place between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. after the warehouse's security guards had left the premises. The Indian government is expected to soon set minimum wages for skilled and unskilled workers seeking employment in the UAE. According to news reports, Indian ambassador to the UAE, M.K. Lokesh, has said that once the online attestation procedure as proposed by the Indian Embassy for recruitment of workers comes into effect, those who need immigration clearance from the Embassy will only get the green light if the job offers allow benefits as much as the set minimum wage or more. Additionally, the minimum wages proposed by the Embassy will have to also be approved by the Ministry of Overseas Affairs in India. Looking overseas now, a rescue operation is underway after oil from an Icelandic container ship that ran aground on Thursday night came ashore on the coast of southern Norway near the country's only marine national park. The Norwegian Coastal Administration are yet to determine the size of the spill. The Norwegian Coast Guard said oil from the Godafoss came ashore at Akir Island, a seabird reserve at the mouth of the Oslo Fjord in North Sea, less than 20 kilometres from the Swedish border. It is not clear what caused the grounding, but Norwegian media reports said leaks were coming from two tanks with a capacity of 250 tonnes each but that it was unclear if the tanks were full or not. Finnish rally driver Juha Kankunen reached the record-breaking speed of 330.695 km per hour on a prepared 16.5 km track located on the frozen waters of the Baltic Sea. The record attempt itself was driven on a 1,000 metres long measured distance with the speed certified by officials from the Finnish Traffic Police. The four-wheel drive 6-litre 12-cylinder Bentley convertible was fuelled with bioethanol rather than petrol. The speeds were ratified by a representative of the Guinness Book of Records. A limited edition of 100 of the Bentley will be made and the car will make its global debut at the Geneva Motor Show on March the 1st. And later on in the program, we go behind the scenes at the Dubai Aquarium. But up next, we take a look at the day's business news.